I'm here with Eugene Chong, who is the Chief Creative Officer for Asia for Ogilvy & Mather, who's talking today about the eight habits of highly creative people. Yeah, the eight creative habits. And what are, what are, what are the, the highlights of those eight habits, the most important ones that people forget or, or ignore? Yeah, I, look, I think, you know, these habits have always existed. And, and if you look at the, the latest book, I think Imagine, if you're looking at the, by Alan, I can't remember his name now, but uh, you know, top-selling book. Now, it's really interesting whenever I read these books about creativity or you know imagination. These eight habits are buried there. Right? Or mm -hmm. these you know, virtue, 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 habits, virtue, character traits. Right? Um, and I think what we did or what I did was just uh, just to to notice a pattern, mm -hmm. right? That actually. You know, Picasso and uh, Newton and uh, Saint Paul, the Apostle, they all had so many things in common. Mm -hmm. right. And um, I think they probably you know, didn't kind of figure it out, but that's the that's that's the way they they, they live as creative people. Okay, and what what are what are some of them? For example, look, I think one of the most important one is courage, right? What does that mean? Courage should be. You know, ideas are scary things, and you know, even to think of them. Right? Sometimes I think just to have that courage to go. Wow, I thought this scary thought. Am I gonna shoot anybody? That's just, just right. one little example. Right? And I think, that, you know, without courage, right? Um, nothing great we bought. Find you nothing know, without courage. You never buy anything that's different, anything that's uh, quirky. Right? They'll stick with the safe. So I think that's that's it's it's interesting that if if you know the Greek cardinal virtues, the four cardinal virtues, courage is one of them as well. Now cardinal means right uh, hinges, right hinges of the door. Right? Without Without the hinges, the, the, the door fall down. Right. So courage is, is a, it's I think a, a cardinal virtue, creative virtue. Okay, another one. You know, I think another one would be uh, curiosity. Uh, and oftentimes, I think uh, in the in the agency, you know, because of the relentless uh, uh, process of. of Review what we do. That uh, that uh, habit is kind of you know, smacked to death. So people are discouraged from being curious. Yeah, they go, you know what? I'm not, not, not going to try them. I'm not going to look for someone because I'm tired, you know. And uh, again, if you look, I just recently read uh, Stephen Stephen King's book on writing, and he talked about how how we all have so much creative energy. And if you go and it and and you should not be um, reviewing your work with other people, right? But you should actually continue writing, right? Right. And then you know, and, and otherwise, you know, otherwise it's uh, sorry, I was just interrupted by the guys there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so. Okay. Another. What's another one? What's another one? Okay, another one I think would be uh, persistence, right? That's, that's believing in something and just going for it, you know, going with it, you know, despite opposition. Right? I, look, I, just, I think all creative people are stubborn. Right? By nature, they go, you know what, this is my baby. And you know what? I'm just going to defend it. I'm going to push it. I'm going to push it. I'm going to push it. Right? I mean, one of the reasons I'm so I'm so successful and you know, I do more award-winning ads is actually not because I think I'm, I'm prolific. Right? But what I do is I take I'm like a mama bag, mama bag. I only produce three kids, right? but I make sure I defend them, right? And I'll be really resourceful. I get you know. I haven't got money to do this. Okay, I'll call up New York. Look, I'll call up New York. Hey, New York, right? I need fifteen thousand. You know, 
and you know I'll sell it you know if the client doesn't buy I'll just go that way I'll do it this way I'll, you know mm -hmm. so persist and never give up persistent I'm a producer but I produce like like a Hollywood producer I you know I never take the word no it's just go so these habits are things that, that, that uh, people aren't, aren't paying enough attention to? No, I think unconsciously, most of us, you, you, you know, we all you are, you know, we all know them, right? But it's just nobody ever kind of put them systematically like we did for all right? So I think, but I think now that it's systematically outlined, what we have got to do is we have got to encourage them, we have to lift them. To make them come to life. Yeah, because habits are actually... Look, if you want to be brave, right, you have got to practice being brave. Right, saying, you know, oh, right, I'm going to go to the client now and I'm going to argue a case. Right, regardless of how I feel, you know, I'm nervous, I'm just going to do it. Right, so we need... We're not brave, but we practice and we practice and then one day we become brave. Right, right. Okay, so through practice we can we can build yeah, out all of you know, this. As, as Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. Right? We just you know I just believe that we you know if you want to be curious then just act curious. Right? Act curious, right? So, um, you know, and, and uh, yeah, so just I'm trying to think of another habit say um, Free spiritedness. I think sometimes in an agency, you know, we're so business-like that that we we frown at people who are slightly, you know, hippie, hippie-like, you know, not quite um, specific. Right? But being that's being free spirited, you, you know, an agency needs to allow that, need to encourage that, rather than say, okay, I need to see this work, I need to nail you down, I need to have a, a, a creative review every two weeks. Right. Yeah. But that, you know, I can write a whole another book just on how to get great work out of, out of a, a creative department. Right. I think we're doing wrong, by the way, right, at Ogilvy. But writing the book is no use. Really. That's just entrenched habits that cannot be changed. So rather than write the book, get people to change their habits. Yeah, I think you know. Yeah, that's that's one book, but I think another book could be you know how to get how to get you know the best work out of people. I, I think John Cleese, like the comedian, he's starting to do some stuff, and you can it's interesting. You, know, you go online and you watch some of the his learning. Like you, know, you know. Okay, well that's that's a good homework assignment. Go start practicing the eight habits and go and look at John Cleese online. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much, Eugene. You're welcome. <laughs>